Good morning, folks. Today we'll be going over space weather, Hurricane Ernesto, and where they think it's going now, a noteworthy earthquake, and yet another strange auroral event. But as always, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, super quiet. Despite the presence of big sunspots, it was a calm day without much in the way of solar flaring. No eruptions of filaments either, just minor surges in the lower to middle corona. Don't forget, on Wednesday, an X-Class solar flare released a CME that will likely hit Earth this weekend. Forecast models vary between impact tonight to Sunday afternoon. We'll be watching the solar wind for that. Luckily, it is expected to be minor and produce only low-level 1 geomagnetic storms at worst. Sunspot number is down a bit, but with two things to note. Big sunspot on the north is still magnetically complex. It still has that peculiar orientation of north to south with the main umbral core in excess of the size of Earth. Yesterday, we also said to watch the incoming limb for a massive sunspot, and we have visibility of it here this morning. You can see the leading smaller spots and then the big ones behind it just cresting into view now. Eyes on these, too. Up next, Hurricane Ernesto is pounding Bermuda at the moment and is still expected to continue northward into the Atlantic. While it may clip far eastern Canada, it is now also expected to whip around and head for northern Europe. This is exactly how some of their worst flood events occur, so keep a close watch on this one across the pond. Taiwan took a magnitude 6 earthquake yesterday, luckily not much reported in the way of damage, and we are just hopeful that this was the pressure release and not a foreshock of a bigger one to come. Lastly, folks, Dr. Tony Phillips reporting Mystery Aurora on SpaceWeather.com. These are not supposed to be orange. It takes extreme storm conditions and a bit of luck of the mixing of the green and red auroral events, but it happened on August 12th, which was not only not a highest level solar storm, but shouldn't have even reached the intensity levels it did. Earth continues putting warning signs in the sky, doesn't it? We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.